The first stage I call um, the unpacking process, and it really is about unpacking all of that internal inventory. Messaging in LinkedIn and saying, John, meet Mary, Mary, meet John. Mary's the branding expert. I'll leave it to you guys. I've never met this guy. I don't know who he is, but suddenly he's introducing me to somebody else. And I can grow my business incrementally and my brand as the go-to person incrementally And the ROI of that is not just sales, it's... Your success in life equates to the number of people who knows, like and trust you. And that is why building your personal brand that people can recognize and admire is vital. I started focusing on building my personal brand about three years ago and it is the best thing I did for my business. I still remember the day I declared that I was going to get serious about YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and how I was going to consistently share content every day and be known as a go-to person in my outsourcing or virtual assistance industry. Nowadays, I get to reap the reward of my hard work because all of these channels have become my main source for generating leads and inquiries for my businesses. Hi, it's Limpinetti here. Today, you will meet my guest, Mary Henderson, a personal branding specialist helping consultants, coaches, business owners to systemize, digitalize, and commercialize their knowledge, wisdom, and skills into a profitable and sustainable online business solution so that they become an authority in their niche or industry. What I love about Mary is her passion and her no bullshit approach in helping you to understand who you truly are and build a business around your authentic self. She's had 18 years of experience building personal brands and businesses for others and herself into multi-million dollar empires. Hey Mary, so good to have you here today. Hi Lynn, it's so good to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So excited to talk to you because more and more people are obviously realizing they need to build their personal brand. And that included me a few years ago. And let's just say my business has really grown because people now like and trust me and they're like, Lynn, you're everywhere. And this is what you do for a living. So tell me more about how you got into this personal branding business. Well, you know, one of the great things about personal branding when you actually get to the core and you probably can relate to this is about understanding who you are, you know, in your natural state of being. Okay, so I think that's really important to really connect with that person that you are and what I call your in you know your internal inventory what does that mean it's a combination of your knowledge your wisdom and your skill set and for me personal branding started in year 2000 when I was in my corporate you know like when I had my corporate life and I had this amazing experience which was like you know that sliding doors experience and I was like holy moly like I can actually build a brand about if I can solve this problem I can build a whole brand around it and that was my driver and I achieved that goal and then you know as they said the rest is history but the reason I'm sharing that is because had I not had that experience and you know working in a sales capacity and then you know working on an international company in a global role I would never have actually realized what my vocation truly would have been okay so i would have still been on the hamster wheel in my corporate life but what i realized was if i could actually merge these three things that i can do with ease and grace could i actually solve a problem and the answer was yes so isn't it awesome that i get to call the three loves of my life my vocation and you know and this is you know and i share that story because You know, this is what I teach people. It's not about wanting to be like somebody else or aspiring to be like somebody else. It's actually about everything that you want to be already exists inside of you, but it's how it's packaged that's the key to success. Oh, wow. So tell me about those three things. So what are those three things that you get people to see? One of the three things is to really understand what your core attributes actually look like. You know, from a personal branding standpoint, the most important step, Lynn, is to understand what that brand essence looks like. And this is why, you know, you can't actually build your brand. You can only define your brand essence. Your clients, your fans, followers, prospects, they build your your brand. You know, they become either, you know, positive advocates or negative advocates. 
But what we can do as a business owner is we define our brand essence. And there's a combination of attributes that actually need to be unpacked to form that uh, the critical foundation. Think of it like a house. You have to build a solid foundation first before you start erecting all of the other moving parts. And when you define that brand essence, that architecture, what you're actually doing is you're seeing almost from top down what it is that you look like as a persona. What is it that you look like in terms of your tone and voice? And, you know, other elements that are critical are your story, you know, the consistency of how you show up in public, social media, on keynote, the consistency of your story. And once that foundation is built, then it has to be without a shadow of a doubt congruent with every other communication touch point okay so tell me more about what's the first step into building a personal brand like if someone's working with you right what would be the first step you take them through to discover the essence or to to do what's next yeah so the first stage i call um, the unpacking process and it really is about unpacking all of that internal inventory so it's your knowledge your wisdom and your skill set as a starting point because what happens lynn is a lot of people this is actually unfortunately very very true a lot of people want to be famous that's actually that's a driver for so many people especially on social media and you can't help people like that if they don't have the experience to back it because think about it a personal brand is the human being being the business the human is now the business it's not a corporation it's the human that needs to be a business it's not just about being touchy-feely and sharing you know all these touchy-feely stories on on social media that will get you vanity metrics absolutely but it doesn't solve a problem so in the space that i work in personal branding is serious business because i have to help that human being package all of their life experience their professional and their personal and merge that together to identify okay well now that i've got all of this inventory what problem can i solve who can i help who needs this problem solved in the world do i have the backup that makes me two keywords believable and trustable because if you're not believable and trustable it's very 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 hard in today's economy to actually be seen and heard and obviously monetize your business so that very first step of unpacking the process is that foundation it's absolutely critical and what most people do lynn is that they bypass that critical process and they all want to go to lead generation but you can't generate leads if you don't know what your messaging is right yeah. if you don't know what you stand for if you don't know how you want your persona to be perceived from the outside in so that's why the first step has to be the foundational yeah because your, your whole goal is that you want people to build a brand that lasts that people remember remember you for something worthy and valuable not just like you know create some fun videos to to be silly and then rack up a lot of likes and do but people go what does she do for a living what does she actually do right <laughs> so whereas it's really like understanding yourself so that you could people would like and trust you but what would you say if if a person has multiple maybe business ideas and ventures and they might be lost in like which angle should I kind of stand for like have you come across that kind of situation oh, all the time this happens all the time and I think one of the reasons people do that Lynn it's actually not because they can solve multiple problems it's actually because a lot of people are thinking oh, if I do that I can get that audience and if I do that then I can attract that audience and maybe if I just do that let that $900 offering get them in then I can sell them up now this is a very digital marketing kind of nonsense approach which works for some people but in the space that i'm in you know i'm i work with a lot of professional people that essentially have 10 20 000 hours dedicated to their specialization so it's not about the the deliverables it's actually about the one problem that you know you can solve for sure and then and then how you deliver that doesn't matter what matters is that you now have 
without a shadow of a doubt, a way to take a client from start to the promise. And the most important part is that you know that you can create a solution that is 100% outcome driven, not just deliverables, because people don't want to be educated. They want to be transformed. And true people that are that are creating a personal brand that's memorable, what they're doing is leaving a legacy. That is their driving mission. And the reason for that is because they have accumulated thousands and thousands of hours in their specialization. Someone like myself, 39,000 hours I've dedicated in just these three areas that I can do with my eyes closed. And that's why I've got frameworks and a system around what I do because it's based on just that one area that I know for sure. Yeah. You know, as you're talking, I just remember back at before I built my personal brand, I had a few limiting beliefs. I was just like, I'm shy. I don't want people to think I'm a show off that I'm going to kind of get out there. But one thing shifted for me was I'm like, well, if I want to help, like you said, leave a legacy, reach and help people, I'm going to get have to get over myself, you know, really just yeah. You know, get out of my shell. Yeah, what advice would you give to people where they're like, all right, I get it, I want a personal brand, but I, I don't know if I could do this, I'm shy, I'm gonna say. The way that I explain it to my clients is that when you make a conscious decision that, look, this is the path I wanna go down. I really want to define my brand persona. I want to, I really want to position myself as a human, be known as the go-to person for that one area of specialization. You then need to wrap your head around the reality that you aren't just a brand, you're actually a media company. And when you can look at yourself as a media company, then everything shifts Ling, because it's the truth. You know, you're, if you're posting on, on social media consistently, you're a media company. If you're taking that video and transcribing it so you can repurpose that content, you're a media company. If you're being invited to do interviews, podcasts, keynotes, you're a media company. So we have to actually realize that the way that business was done will no longer be done. We are a digital economy. Whether we agree or disagree, that's the reality. And in fact, just to validate that, if I may, the World Economic Forum have actually released the type of jobs for 2022 and beyond. There is nothing on there that's bricks and mortar. It is 100% digital, AI, blockchain. The only thing that they have on there that's that's human is sales. So let's take let's take a step back here. If that's the case, why do they have sales as one of the most in demand job titles for 2022 and beyond? Because you still need a human in brackets, personal brand to be able to articulate with absolute clarity what it is that I do, who it is that I serve and what it is that I promise through content. There is no other way to do it. Okay, I love it. I just love your passion. So once you've defined your brand, you know who you are, uh, what are some of the key assets like you would, because sometimes people go, okay, I want to build my brand and I start with a logo. I started with a website, which is all wrong. You really need to know who you are, etc. And then once you do, then of course it helps you to create a, a great logo that actually represents who you are. But what else would they be looking at in order to build that brand an asset? That's actually a really, really important question because to your point, a lot of people pay to get some type of documentation, I guess, to say, hey, here's what you're going to look like as a brand. Look, here's the, I want to start from this point. If you can't commercialize your personal brand, it's just another shiny object. You will get lost in the sea of noise on social media. So let's think like adults with critical thinking and ask ourselves, why am I investing in defining my personal brand? It is because I've accumulated so many hours in my specialization. I know how to solve a problem. I just don't know how to put myself out there. So what, so what assets do we need in the public facing? And it's not just the logo, the website, your branding guidelines. It actually is more than that, uh, Lena. And I think this is where a lot of people get, get lost. It's defining your solution in a way that a prospect 
can fathom with absolute ease. So when you take them on that journey, they can go, oh my God, I totally see exactly how you can help me. That is 100% linked to your brand. It's also, and most importantly, and this is the key, it's to have the capacity to be able to give every person that touches your brand, fan, follower, prospect, and client, an ecstatic brand experience. So therefore, is the website important? Hell yeah. Is a sales funnel important? Absolutely. Is the experience that someone's signing in for your free lead magnet important? The most important. And it's not just about doing a 45 minute Russell Brunson type of a webinar, that's gone. We need to actually be super, super, we we need to get beyond that and think about how do I want my prospect to experience my brand? I don't want to be that digital marketer like everybody else who's doing 45 minute slides. The first 20 minutes is all about me. And then they're stacking up and selling you a $42,000 product for $900. This is shenanigans, right? Let's, Let's think of our brand as a corporation, do you honestly think that brand, the biggest brands in the world would be approaching their brand from that standpoint, you know, just using scarcity tactics and all this stuff? No, absolutely not. So how do you want to be seen? Do you want to be seen like everybody else? Or do you want to be seen like the 1%? If you want to be like the 1%, you have to do things differently. So that ecstatic brand experience is absolutely critical because when you're on social media and you're showing up that consistency in your messaging and your branding and your look and feel how you show up also positions you incrementally every single day as the go-to person so suddenly you're training your prospects that you want to be known as this person from today five years, 10 years, 20 years down the track. And this is all about when you consolidate all of that, it's also about understanding what does your signature actually look like? And so there, it's quite scientific if you really think about it, because you can see, I see it all the time. Oh, I've got a website. Okay. I've got a logo. Great. You know, I've got a sales funnel. When I go through that process with most people, I basically remove everything that they've done, throw it in the bin, and we start all over again. Why do I do that? Because for me, the absolute goal is I want my clients to be to provide their prospects an ecstatic brand experience. There's consistency, they're believable, they're trustable. They become the go-to person very, very quickly. Yeah, and you, you know, um, when I first spoke to you too, we we talked about relationship too. So I think the biggest thing for me is like, apart from just looking good, looking like trustworthy online, you need to make sure you deliver the good and actually care about people. You want people to trust you and like you, but not just like on the surface level, but you know, deliverable. And and once they become a client, how do you actually take care of them as well, right? You know, I think that's that that's very important, Lena. And I, you know, if I could just backtrack as well, before somebody becomes a client, what a lot of people don't get is that when they create a sales funnel where they're exchanging an email for something for free, most of the information is just dumb information. It's stuff, it's noise. It has zero value to me as somebody who potentially wants to work with you. So here's my theory. When I'm taking people through that process, because for me, the relationship actually does start on social media. Then I take them off social media. I continue building that relationship until we get on a phone call because my content that I give away for free is really experiential, but more importantly, it has high value. I'm not afraid, Lynn, of giving away information at all. I'll tell you why. 99% of the people that watch my free masterclasses, download my free workbooks, whatever it may be, they will never do anything with that information. Nothing, it'll go in the top drawer and it'll they'll go back to their hamster wheel. But you know what? They're the people I'm targeting, not the 1%. The 1% already know they want to work with me. The 99 who will never work with me, they're the ones that I care about. Why? 
because those people will leave my masterclass and you know what they'll say oh my god that was amazing then they're going to tell 10 other people you just need just go to mary henderson this happens to me all the time i get people setting up you know group messaging in linkedin and saying john meet mary mary meet john mary's the branding expert i'll leave it to you guys i've never met this guy i don't know who he is but suddenly he's introducing me to somebody else why because he's sat in the master class so that's why people have got it wrong. They're focused on the, the sale, the transaction. I'm not interested in the transaction. To me, the transaction is the effect of the cause. If I give everyone that touches my brand an ecstatic brand experience, my clients, my prospects, and my fans will tell everybody about me. This is how you build your business. Like it's actually not brain surgery, but also it it also matters, not just with your direct clients, it also matters with the relationships you're building with partners who can then on refer you. It's like a bit like what you and I've got. You know, I love referring people to you because I trust you. I know that my, I mean, that my clients are in good hands. I'm not worrying about them. So, and it's because I trust your brand, I know who you are, we've had, you know, lots of dialogue. It's amazing. This is how normal human beings interact. Yeah. So it's the same with online. So that's why I think that's very important. Yeah, I remember a quote, it's, it's not who you know, but it's who knows you. Yes. And you know, a lot of times, like you said, people are thinking short term, like, can I make a sale from that person? What's the point of talking to that person if they're not going to buy from me? But no, they know other people as well and they will spread. Now, I guess my last point is people expecting personal brand to just happen overnight like is this gonna work for me and you know when am I gonna get a return on investment and I must say you know personal brand is not something you just do overnight and expect the result and you're done it's a forever thing you know, what do you have to say about that as I said before if you're investing in your personal brand and looking at you know an immediate transaction that's that's not going to happen you know what personal branding when you start that process it's a long-term process you know are there shortcuts of course there are you know however you know it's it's a daily consistent input it's a dedication it's a commitment and this is why uh, having a content strategy is absolutely fundamental because think about it i mean we are in the most craziest time in our lives. You know, on one hand, we've got a crisis. On the other hand, there's massive opportunity. Think about it. I can actually promote my expertise in the form of content that's in context from different angles on social media every day, 10 times if I want. I can support that with an ad campaign if I wanted to, to get more eyeballs. And I can grow my business incrementally and my brand as the go-to person incrementally. And the ROI of that is not just sales. It's creating a pool strategy so that people want to interview you. They want you on stage. You know, people are willing to pay for your expertise because they know that their audience will get value out of it. So it's a it's a working progress and it's a daily commitment. Now, does it require four hours of your time every day? No, it does not. It, you know, honestly, Lynn, I'm on social media for 30 minutes in a whole day. I actually don't spend that much time on it. It looks like I do, but I don't, you know, and because why? Because I have a strategy in place. I have a content strategy. I have order when it comes to my branding. And that's a very important word because I see 98% of people are reactive. It's chaos. I'm the opposite. I'm proactive and I'm ordered. And that's why it works when you have, when you step into this space with that mindset. Yeah, I just love the way you are. Like, you can just tell you get shit done, you know? Yes. <laughs> no bullshit approach. How can people connect with you or get help with their personal brand? Absolutely. So you can, first of all, go to my website, which is maryhendersoncoaching.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn, which is at Mary Henderson Coaching. Just look for the photo with a pink circle around it or send me an email, mary at maryhendersoncoaching.com. Oh, thank you so much, Mary, for your time. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you so much for watching guys. Love to hear in the comments below, what industry do you want to be known as the go-to person for? 
Oh, by the way, if you're interested in building your personal brand, I can also help you with building your brand using video marketing, just like how I've done it for myself. You can check out my other business Dawn Media productions here. Well, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.